Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody's doing alright this morning. Today is Friday, September 23rd. It's already the weekend. Uh, almost. Yeah. Uh, currently it's uh, 54 degrees. It got cool last night. As you can see, I've got a long sleeve shirt on right now. And the high's only going to be 71. That's going to feel great today. Uh, no chance of rain, 64% humidity right now, no wind, and air quality is 58. That's moderate. Hold on just a minute. Okay, today, there's we usually go to Dollar Tree just about once a month. We don't usually, um, we used to go like every week and see what new stuff they had and stuff, but uh, we end up spending a little bit more there now than we used to because it costs more. So we don't go but once a month, but I've got a big Dollar Tree haul uh, today. Y'all need to check out. And uh, I have some more, two more grocery outlet hauls coming up in the next several days. Um, uh, just unbelievable prices on stuff. Just couldn't pass up. Could, just couldn't pass it up. We're, we're going, we're going to do, uh, grocery outlet more often, like once a week, uh, because they get new stuff in, and we save so much money there. Um, I can't tell you how much money we would spend if we went to Walmart, especially at the first of the month. I think the last time, I mean, we're getting a few things there, but we, it's like I said before, we're waiting until we're broke. Uh, practically to go there so we can't spend it we don't if we don't have it we can't spend it so um yeah the last time we went it was like 300 and some dollars and uh they're just they're high they're higher now on stuff and so is kroger if you unless you buy it uh on sale or digital coupon or digital coupon and i bought it i try to pair them up to where you get the maximum amount of savings um but yeah we're trying to stay away from kroger i mean to of walmart kroger's real close by it doesn't take us five minutes to get to kroger um and it's it's good for when if there's something you need they pretty much will have it uh, but if it's not on sale you're going to pay a like a premium price now for what i've noticed a lot of stuff going up there but um the way we're doing it now, we're really saving money, and uh, we've got everything really stocked up. You know, I've got this little extra freezer here and this freezer, um, which I'm so glad we have, or we wouldn't be able to save as much money. We wouldn't have the room for it. But anyway, definitely check out the Dollar Tree haul today, and like I said, there'll be some uh, two grocery outlet hauls coming up uh, in the next several days. Okay, we had, okay, last night we had ranch dress, uh, not ranch dressing, we had ranch chicken, and this time I added, uh, you know, you use cream of chicken soup with it, this time I added a, a can of cream of mushroom also, and it made the gravy, it was just awesome, uh, awesome, and then we, we had uh, Joy Fix mashed potatoes with it for the gravy, and uh, we had green beans and some tomatoes from the garden. Uh, this doesn't look, I, I did a short on this, but it didn't, it looked like they're swimming in gravy. <laughs> so I just, I thought, you know, it wasn't as, I mean, it's it's appealing, but some people would say, oh, that, you know, that's that's too much. It's, a, it's too much gravy. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't eat all the gravy. I just uh, had a lot on my mashed potatoes and chicken, and it went everywhere. So you can see, I mean, the, I looked at the short, and I thought, hmm, I know that's really good, but some other people might think, you know, because sometimes they get th thousands of views, might think, well, that, that's, you know, that doesn't look good to me, <laughs> or whatever, as you can see what I mean, but... Uh, it, it was excellent. It was it was such a good uh, comfort food, really. It was, it was fantastic. So, uh, well done. 
All right, um, and tonight we're going to have something kind of easy. Uh, probably because I forgot to put anything out to, to thaw again. Uh, we're going to have some corn dogs. Um, I think they're bar S. I don't know if we've had them before or not. Uh, corn dogs. If that's no, it's State Fair is the one at Dollar Tree. We've had them. They're really small at Dollar Tree, by the way. Those you get there, super small. They're probably even smaller than they were before. <coughs> anyway, we're gonna have corn dogs uh, and the hash browns. We still got a half a bag of hash browns. So we're gonna make hash browns with peppers and onions, and we got some unsweetened applesauce we need to have. Okay, I got a little taste test this morning. You've probably seen the uh, uh, thumbnail, of course. And it is sun-made sour raisin snacks. It's blue raspberry. And it's made with, what's that say? Flavored with other natural flavors, golden raisins. So... Got these at a uh, grocery outlet, but I'm sure if you look where uh, your sun, the raisin section in your store, uh, Sunmade's pretty big. They might, you might be able to find these at your, at your store. Okay, so let's see what the nutrition facts. It says whole fruit, no sugar added, no GMOs, no gluten, no artificial flavors, no synthetic colors. Uh, if you eat the whole box, it's 110 calories. No fat, no saturated fat. It says 10 milligrams of sodium, that's 0% though. Uh, 29 grams of carbs is 11%. Dietary fiber, 2 grams is 6%. 24 grams of sugars, no added sugar. <coughs> 1 gram of protein. 2% of calcium, 4% of iron, 6% of potassium no cholesterol or trans fat so I was just reading on it growers of California so this comes from California so let's see so look like oh boy I can smell that I wonder what it's flavored with to be blue raspberry. I wonder, I, it's so small here. California raisins, natural flavors, some put on. Vegetable juice for color. It just says natural flavors, but it's supposed to be raspberry, so I'm just wondering, you know, if it's really, looks like they would put on there if it's raspberry. Mm. It's sour for a second. No, you know. Actually, they're really very good. Mmm. They, they show raspberries on here. It makes me wonder if they're actually using raspberry flavor. But it looks like I said, looks like it would say raspberries. On the just his natural flavors. These are very good. Mmm. Mmm. When you put several of them in your mouth, it's a little, a little sour. They're different. I mean, I love raisins. We do. We use. Um, we've used them all up. The golden raisins in our salads, and we've got a thing of regular raisins in there I need to get out since we're out of the golden. Love them on salads. Mmm. I like these, y'all. 
This would be a way to get me to eat them. I guarantee you kids would not love these. And it'd be something good for them. By comparison, typical fruit snacks contain added sugars, i.e. corn syrup, sugar, and or juices from concentrate. Whole fruits such as raisins are naturally sweet and do not contain added sugars. Mm -hmm. Get some of these. Uh, Y'all will like them too. I mean, and, the, and kids would love them. Your grandkids or something too. So, mm-hmm. Okay. Let's do today's tidbits. Five out of five, by the way. It is, is, they're really good. You know, they're just a little bit sour at first, but they're, they're great. I, I really like those. I'm, I mean, I'll eat the rest of those today, later on, after breakfast sometime. Maybe that can be part of my lunch today. It'd be a healthy thing to have. Okay, today's tidbit, uh, Sail Drone, which I never heard of, captures Fiona-caused waves of, a, of 50 feet and winds. Look at that, a drone, a sail drone, a sail drone flying near Bermuda. At, how can it fly? It's not flying. You wouldn't call it flying, would you, if it was in the ocean? Near Bermuda at the time of Hurricane Fiona Thursday captured video of the Atlantic Ocean. The waves rose to a height of 50 feet while the winds gusted to 100 mile per hour, creating sights only seen in movies. As the sail drone eerily scaled each wave and descended into a gap before riding another, the waves began to resemble mountains. Looks like it would flip over and stuff in that, you know? But that's that's amazing. I'd love to see that. Okay. James Webb Telescope snaps majestic image of Neptune. And uh, excuse me, but this doesn't look like a majestic image. I mean, it's not even in focus. But it's a good uh, item, you know, story. See, it doesn't look like, I mean, I don't know. Hi, kitty. Hi. You gonna come up and say hi? You gonna lay there? Okay, a brand new portrait of the ice giant planet Neptune has been provided by the James Webb Space Telescope's first image of the planet. The image gives astronomers a good glimpse at the I uh, planet's icy rings since the Voyager 2 probe passed by Neptune 32 years ago. The new image also reveals a few fuzzier dust ring, excuse me, dust rings surrounding Neptune. Here's an interesting one too. There's a link between the beer industry and a U.S. volcano. Carbon dioxide, CO2 gas, is added to beer bottles before they are sealed. But the food, where'd she go? Oh, she's laying behind me. She does that a lot. I gotta be careful when I get up. But the food production industry is facing a CO2 shortage and it is being worsened by an ancient extinct volcano near Jackson, Mississippi. The Jackson volcano contains an enormous reserve of CO2 but it has been contaminated by benzene, making it unfit for human consumption. Well, I guess so. This would happen if the sun goes out for a few days. This is just theory now. This, I mean, I'm sure it would, it probably would happen. I mean, but nothing's going to happen to the sun. So no reason to be upset. Uh, scientists have hy hypothesized what would happen if, to Earth if the sun malfunctions for some time. Malfunctions? The last light rays emitted by the sun will reach Earth eight minutes later. That's hard to believe, you know? Uh, it goes that fast. After which our planet's surface would go dark. Earth's temperature would drop below 32 degrees within a week. Gradually, plants will be unable to photosynthesize and produce oxygen. And that wouldn't be good. Okay. Let's find nice news. And by the way, I 
I think I got everything squared away with my comments yesterday. I actually, I actually spent all day and all evening last night uh, trying to get caught up on them, and I finally did. And, uh, it was just amazing how many, you know, there were. But uh, hopefully they won't do that again, because that that really messes things up for me. I know it, it would for anybody. You know, um, so anyway, got it straightened out for now. Just took forever. <laughs> okay. Where is, here it is. Nice news. U.S. cancer deaths cancer deaths are steadily declining with more survivors than ever before. That's good to hear. It's always a good day when we can share advances in fighting cancer. A new report from the American Association for Cancer Research, Research shows that cancer deaths have been steadily on the decline in the U.S. thanks to progress in research, treatments, and screenings. Death Deaths decreased by 2.3% each year between 2016 and 2019, and there's been an overall 32% reduction in the country's death rate since 1991. Wow, meaning 3.5 million lives saved. Wow, that's awesome. As such, there are <coughs> more cancer survivors than ever. In January, there were more than 18 million survivors in the U.S. compared to just 3 million 50 years ago. Basic research discoveries have driven the remarkable advances that we've seen in cancer medicine in recent years, AACR President Dr. Lisa Cousin said in a statement, citing immunotherapy as one of the new innovative therapeutic approaches. She added investment in cancer science as well as support for science education at all levels is absolutely essential to drive the next wave of discoveries and accelerate progress. Women in addiction recovery find healing in creating through nonprofit unshattered exclusive. Okay. There it is. Kelly Lingard is open about the fact that she once thought people struggling with addiction were irresponsible or simply making poor choices. But today, the former, ex former executive is her champion, having built a thriving bi business in a strong community with the goal of helping women put and keep the pieces of their lives back together. After spending time with a local recovery program, Lingard's eyes were open to traumatic life experiences that drove many to substance abuse. And the lack of available resources sources for helping an individual stay sober. So she started Unshattered, a handbag and accessory brand, and hired only women in addiction recovery. The upstate New York-based nonprofit specializes in handmade leather bags and has established partnerships with companies like Southwest Airlines to recycle materials into new artisan products. It just never gets old to see a woman make something beautiful. Lingard tells nice news and that first moment of pride where she's like I made this it's an incredible thing to witness their own shift into believing what is possible for them having trouble with my floaters this morning everybody probably didn't help that I was on the on uh, the phone and tablet so much yesterday it's just acting up makes it hard to read Okay, beekeepers turn to niche Darwinian practices to help hives thrive. Hmm. I like that picture. By the way, if you see any pictures uh, for my thumbnails on morning coffee break that have bees in them, I've taken those out in my yard, mostly last year. I had more bees last year than this year. Um, just not seeing as many to take pictures of them. 
Okay, honeybees are essential to Earth's ecosystems, but their colonies have been struggling recently due to parasites and the stressors of the commercial beekeeping industry. Luckily, though, the little pollinators are quite adaptable when left to their own devices. They have survived on their own and they have had to adapt, Brenda Kisling, a certified master beekeeper, told the Washington Post. They've lived through ice ages, rainstorms, somehow they have survived. To help the hives thrive and boost populations, Kessling and other like-minded beekeepers are leaning on bees' innate durability. Adopting a once niche practice known as Darwinian beekeeping. Named after Charles Darwin, it involves creating small hives that are more similar to that of a natural nest and spacing them apart to combat spread of parasites. If you let an animal live naturally, it is able to use its full toolbox and set of skills to survive and reproduce, said bee researchers Th Thomas D. Seeley. But when you take any kind of animal and you force it to live in a different way, those tools aren't allowed to function very well. Seeley noted that he's seeing a shift toward the Darwinian method even among beekeeping hobbyists a good sign for B's future. All right, let's see what the quote of the day is from Henry Miller. Through light and joy is the world opened up, revealed for what it is, ineffable beauty, unending creation. I don't know what ineffable. Y'all know what in I N E F F A B L E. Ineffable. Never heard of that one. Okay, everybody, that's it for today's tidbits and nice news and morning coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Get you some of these. Uh, if you like raisins, you'll really like them. Get some for the kids, grandkids and stuff. They're really good. So everybody, later on, check out the Dollar Tree haul. It's a good one. So I hope you all check it out. And everybody, I hope you have a great day. And God bless.